So if you look at the servicing video, this is the flagship Harrier, which was Dixon's Photographic, who were the shop that sold these at the time. Got got um, swallowed bitten to curries. So um, 1981 flagship set. They were 89.99. Uh, sorry, they were 99.99 at the time, and it works absolutely unbelievably well. Uh, 0.25 microvolts for 12 dB synod. So this works best than probably anything else you'll get today. Oh, I better get to make a chippy channel. Tango 21 test. Tango 21 working. Roger. Just doing the extension speaker now. Roger. Okay, I'm ready. Roger that. Right, we're now back in the house and recording. Roger that, I've got a tone control. Oh good, I bet uh, uh, see some spiel for a while. I see the crops in the field are coming up nicely, whatever they are. Heading down the lane, heading towards Woody's. I think we'll keep it on a high, a high position. Roger, not. I'll keep it in high position. It's a three-position switch on this radio. Roger. Right, we're coming up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. Roger. Up. Passing through Lancaster Crossroads. Roger, are you going to Lancaster Crossroads? Now, to get today's fiasco when I had lost the signal because of the aerial flood, I uh, have uh, cut the plug off and put it back on again two inches lower down, so we shouldn't have that happen again. We're not for two years. <laughs> Scratchy Corner, Wilsford, over. What have you got you going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford? Here we go, 21 to Mr. Chippy. We're now going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford, over. What have you got you going round Scratchy Corner, Wilsford? I'm on a 1981 Harrier CBX. My pin is Cyber Network C4 doing a full full box over. Yep, Roger that. All received. Roger. Oh,
me over Wolfsford Lock Crossing. Roger, got you going over Wolfsford Level Crossing. Passing the Grayleys turn over. Roger, got you at the Grayleys turn. Roger. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. Well, you've got you at the five mile point. So I'm on the Harriers TDX from 1981, seeing a four full watch, throwing 1.65 amps to do that. Then we go to low power, which I set to 400 watts as it should be. Fast 461. And there we are back on high power. Over. Yep, Roger, all that um, didn't really copy very well on low power, but it's a bit noisy on, on here tonight. Yep, Roger, well, it's all how it goes. Yep, Roger that. I'll keep going, you ready? Right, we're now on the move again. Roger, got you going again. Roger. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now going over Rollsby Level Crossing. Over. Yes, I uh, assume you want petrol prices 153.7. Roger, got you going over Rawspeed Level Crossing. 
So, have you got a special prize for me? That's in, please, over. They'll have to look on the video. That concludes the test, that's fine, thank you. Yeah, that's fine. 10 10. Okay, that worked absolutely great, so um, we'll go over to our base station, see what it sounds like on that microphone, and I'll dig out the factory original microphone and we'll have a comparison. Tango 21, testing the Harrier CBX into our Midland 76900 base station. This is with the standard replacement mic I've been doing the rest of the test with. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we're going to go over to the customer's original mic that came with 